Well, hello you gorgeous mother truckers, you and welcome to another video. Not long to go now. Tomorrow's the big day. Remember, you can start voting from 8 till 10 p.m. Get out there. Let's vote reform. Let's vote for real change. Instead of the interfering, lying, dirty, cheating scum who have had 14 years and have made this country far, far, far worse, the Conservatives. And if you're wondering what I'm on about, well, they look like they've been interfering with reform quite amazingly. So, a reform candidate was made offer to stand by, aside by activists with links to the Tory, Tory rival. Andrew Southall was contacted by right-wing activists for a meeting after snap election called. A reform candidate was made a unique offer to stand aside at the election by political activists with links to the Conservative rivals, it has been claimed. I'm not going to pay to read any more because it's the Telegraph. I mean, I could do it, but I'm not going to read the rest of the article because then we also had this one. Old Georgie David, who has said that all of the members of reform are racists and bigots. Even though Zia Youssef was on GB News today, she said she had 25 days before she made the decision, of course, at the last minute and to step down and then, of course, support the Conservative candidate. Um, she couldn't have met them all. So she's a lawyer. And also, amazingly enough, her social media was very, very like, non-existent until just recently. Funny that. So, hmm, that's two cases. Well, maybe it's just one of those things. Oh, look, here's another one. Tom Wellings withdrew his candidacy for the Reform UK just moments before the deadline, leaving the party without a representative in the upcoming general election. And the smiling, smarmy little git, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, after quitting, went out and supported his local Conservative Party member. And this has happened a fair few times where it's absolutely blatantly obvious that there is a concerted effort by the Tories and the media, as shown here by Dan Wooten, who, of course, was sacked by GB News for daring to have an opinion. Exposed, there is now a coordinated campaign being run by the Conservatives' voice, CCHQ, with collaboration of the corrupt MSM to discredit Reform UK. Senior reform sources have told me today that numerous candidates have been approached and offers enticements, including safe council seats, if they publicly condemn Nigel Farage's party to defect to the Tories. I can't say this is anything other than electoral interference. It is, 100%. But nothing will happen. And the reason nothing will happen is the media and the Labour Party and the Conservative Party, and a little bit the Liberal Democrats, but a little tiny bit, don't want their bubble burst. They don't want somebody coming in and ruining their apple cart over so they can't make any more money and just screw with us. It's as simple as that. It's blatantly obvious. But nothing will happen. Most candidates have refused, but a few have given in. With press statements immediately sent to the BBC by the Tories. Um, Georgia David came out and the media ran with it. All media ran with it straight away because that's all that matters. They didn't check. They didn't see whether it was even fine, you know mathematically possible for her to do that no because that's all they care about election interference by the media the media don't want reform the media want you to have labor and then when labor have finished screwing us all over they'll want you to have conservatives again because that's all that matters the British Bashing Corporation then decided this was the most important election story of the day do not trust the mainstream media vote with your heart and with that I can't argue it just shows you the dirty, downright dirty tricks that are being used on reform. Like our actor friend with Channel 4, that we all know Channel 4 paid for. Because if they didn't, why has the man's social media vanished into the ether? Why has he become a ghost? Now, Channel 4 going, oh, we're going to sue Nigel. Well, of course they are. They're going to distance themselves because they're not going to admit that's what they did. And that's why they hired a company to do it who is also ran by somebody who absolutely hates Nigel Farage and hated the Brexit party after he was kicked out for being a knobhead. It's just massive, massive. I mean, you can see it now. They're running the, the uh, you know, join us tomorrow for the election. And they've got pictures, for some reason, of the Scottish guy who only gives a shit about Scotland. He's on there, but not reform. Not Nigel, no, because we can't have that. Because we can't have that. 
we're not allowed. You're only allowed to have Conservative, Labour, Liberal Democrats, and for some unknown reason, the Scottish Democratic Party, or the SNP, sorry, it's National Party, who have no interest in anything other than Scotland. But they're allowed to be represented, not somebody who's actually standing for Great Britain, not just a small part of it. Any case, don't forget, out tomorrow, 8 till 10 p.m., get your votes in, vote reform, vote rechange. Stick your middle finger up to the establishment. Let's tell the MSN to go kiss our asses, and let's try and make some real change in the country. It just makes sense. With that, I'm done. So, until the next one. Yeah.